Welcome back to the Titans Complete Story. Now, as I've said before, these issues are broken down kind of weird. They are single or double issues that tie into an overarching plot that is much larger than our normal stories. So we're going to be doing it like we do stories that are this large and we have to break down. We're going to be breaking down single issues and double issues and bringing you the Titans storyline quicker this way. Today, we're going to be discovering who is the traitor amongst the Titans and what's going to be happening to the Flash. This is issues 14 and 15 of Titans. Later that day, the Titans find themselves in a pizza fish wholesale storage fighting the magically invincible Trident 3. But no matter what the Titans do, their attacks have no effect on the Atlantean girls. The three shout to Garth, telling him that they love him. He should just return to the ocean with them. And Lilith asks, so they're in love with you? And Garth tells her, no, well, maybe. I trained with them in the silence school years ago. And Lilith says, wait, the Atlantean College of Magic were you? But Garth stops her telling her, yes, a student for a while. But those three were expelled for abuse of the craft. However, there are things that led up to this fight, namely an incident that occurred eight hours prior. At the Titan's Tower, Dick Grayson brought up the discussion that Lilith could be, in fact, a Hive spy. Garth begins to get visibly angry about that thought, and he tells Dick Grayson that he needs to choose his next words very carefully. He was the one who kept the Lazarus contract with Deathstroke a secret, and... But before Dick could even argue back, Lilith breaks up the two of them, telling them, Look, we think that Simon may have gotten into you, and yes, that is possible. However, one thing in the interview that he mentioned was that one of them would betray the team. While everyone begins to argue over who withheld that information, Wally steps up telling everyone, Come on, guys! All of this fighting is gonna give me a heart attack. Everyone stops, and he simply looks at them, going, Too soon? And both Roy and Donna tell him, Way too soon! Dick then tells everyone that he borrowed some equipment from Spiral. It's a device that scans individuals and runs an analysis and reveals any deep conditioning or mind alteration. Each scan takes about a day to process, so until they find out who the spy is, no one goes in or out of this building. Garth tells him, fine, they'll do it, but he better order some pizza. A few hours later, Dick finishes up the last scan just in time for the pizza to arrive, and everyone begins to grab a slice. But the second that Garth bites into it, he spits it back out. He yells to everyone to hurry up and spit theirs out as well. The pizza has been poisoned! Roy continues eating, telling them all that it tastes fine to him. Garth shouts that it's because their surface-borne mouths can't detect it. It's stagfish venom, a rare Atlantean toxin, which now brings us to the pizza fish storage facility. Wally runs in, but the feeling in his heart returns and time stops again. As Wally tries to recover, time resumes, and Roy jumps in to save him, and he says that he's sorry to say this, but if his heart is an issue, he's going to become a liability. Wally says that he's fine, but Roy tells him whatever. Guess that's how you like it, right? Playing things pretty fast, just like Donna. Wally tells him that he can explain, and Roy turns back shouting, I knew you liked her! What happened? The brush of morality made you think that you can just grab whatever the hell you want now? For those of you guys not tracking the situation, Roy has a crush on Donna, but he walked in on Wally and Donna kissing. Problem is, Wally's trying to get back with Linda because the timeline erased the fact that he was married to Linda Park. So, we just have more drama over here in the Titans Tower. The two lunge at each other, and Donna grabs the both of them, telling them to stop. Are they really fighting over her? She then throws the two of them, stating that she really doesn't need this crap. She has enough going on just trying to figure out what she is anymore. Wally reaches out to her, telling her to wait, but Donna tells them that they need to get their acts together. They have bad people to stop here. After watching that, Lilith begins to think that this is what Simon said they're fragmenting. What if she is the traitor? In an earlier video, we discovered that there's actually someone within the Titans who's going to be betraying them soon. The current running theory is that what if it's Lilith because she interrogated an individual named Simon who can tap into her mind and make her think things or alter the way that she's thinking. In theory, she's more powerful than Simon, but what if he got in? Garth knocks one of the girls away, telling her that they all have their secrets, himself included. There are two things that he hasn't shared. One is that he loves her, and reluctantly, they now all reveal to the others. So everyone can get behind him so that they can deal with these problems back home. Garth then begins to gather energy, stating that it's been a while since he said he did the silent school, and it cost him someone dear, so he turned his back on it. However, he's never forgotten the lessons, and he swore to never do this again. He then releases energy into a massive and magical attack, taking down the Trident 3. Garth turns to walk out, stating that they all now know his secrets. Some of the authorities. They're going to need specialists to imprison the Atlantean women safely, to administer the antitoxin. Later that night, Dick gathers everyone to go over the results and notices that Lilith isn't among them. Back on Rikers Island, Lilith now sits with Simon, the individual that was patching into her brain, telling him that she wants more information. Simon tells her that there is a darkness upon them. She is the omen of it. The girl Clay will unleash destruction, 
and Hive is the only ones who can save it. Over at the tower, Dick gets ready to go over the results with everyone when he starts to read the results for himself, and he sees that someone has been manipulated. Himself. He then reports back stating that he knows everything, and soon the Titans will figure out his role in all of this. So how should he deal with them? That is, until Roy enters the room holding an arrow to Nightwing's neck, asking, who are you talking to? Roy shouts for everyone to hurry up and get into the control room. He just found out that Grayson is the damn traitor. Garth begins building up his power, and Wally runs between them, telling them, whoa, 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 hang on. Are we really going to suspect Dick now? Really? We're all friends here. Have we forgotten that? There's probably a simple explanation to all of this. And Dick says, actually, there is. I've been Hive's spy for several weeks. He takes everyone out and he tells them that yes, he was the spy. It was when they dealt with the five at Meta Solutions. Gizmo infected him with nanotech spyware. He was completely unaware until he ran the scans. Roy shouts, asking, You were just talking to them! Dick goes on telling him, yeah, to surprise them. To stop them from deactivating the spyware. It's Spycraft 101, the unexpected. And the moment that they took to the blink, it gave me enough time to run a trace and reveal where they are. Yes, it was reckless, but I made a promise to Mal to recover Karen's memories for the sake of their marriage and their baby that she doesn't even remember. If you're once again just now joining us, Karen's memories were taken in a previous adventure when they attacked Meta Solutions. All of this links together. Make sure you click the playlist down below because you may be lost at the moment. Karen jumps up, hugging Dick, telling him that he is so amazing, and Roy tells him, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to accuse you. Dick stops him, telling him, don't apologize. I've given you all good reason to doubt me. There's just too much Batman in me. All the private and secretive habits. That's the thing. If Hive is watching us, they could have destroyed us at any point. With them not destroying us, it would seem that we're needed for something. Something bigger. So Donna asks, what could it be? And Lilith steps in, stating that Hive is trying to save the world. From her. She returned to Simon to get more information, and what he perceived was a global-scale threat. For months, Hive has been preparing for it. Garth asks, what is she saying? And Lilith tells him, the global threat is her. She doesn't know how or when, but she's going to do something or become something. The girl, Clay, will unleash destruction on the world and only Hive can save it. That was Simon's prophecy. Roy then asks Lilith, so you're planning on destroying the world or something? And she says, absolutely not, but she's scared as hell. Simon is an evil man, but he's not an idiot. He simply sees what the future shows him, and the future has no reason to lie. Dick tells Garth to go ahead and prep the jet. The tracer showed the main bases in Delaware. It's time they ended this. It's time they ended Hive. Donna then says that Wally wanted to say something, and Wally tells everyone that there's something important that he has to say. But before he can, a transmission comes across the intercom. Dick notices the connection is coming from Hive spyware, and he asks, what do you want? A voice tells him that this is Hive control. For God's sake, help us! It's killing everyone here! The transmission ends, and Dick tells everyone to move out. A short while later, the Titans arrive in Lithgow, Delaware, and quickly storm the Hive facility, and what they see is Simon suddenly appearing before them. He shouts that IT brought them here. What's it going to do? And just then, Mal and Nark appear, two other individuals who have been in the Titans off and on since the start of this run. Both of them are now possessed, though, and Mal says that IT wants. As they start attacking the Titans, Simon begins to change, and he screams, begging for it to stop. And then he stands back up more powerful than before, telling Lilith, Hello! While Dick and Mal fight, Dick asks who did this, and Mal tells him, You did, of course. You took my wife from me! You stole everything that I've ever cared about. Dick tries to tell him that he was only helping, and Mal punches him before he could finish, then stabs Dick right through the chest. Wally screams no as he runs towards Dick, but this time his powers do something different. They didn't stop time, they reversed it! Dick looks at his chest, asking how, how is he alive? And then it hits him, Wally. He looks over, and Wally is struggling, telling him, Couldn't let you die, buddy. Not sure how I did it, though. Dick runs over, grabbing him, and as Wally clutches his chest, he takes his last breath, and he lets go. And there you have it. Is the Flash dead? Well, we're going to find out very soon as everyone copes with this, because yes, he is very dead right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Make sure you subscribe to Comic Storian to keep up the date on the Titan storyline as we bring you more and more of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the Justice League movie. Now, don't forget, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash eligiblemonster. There, me and the rest of the Comic Storian team play various video games, and the schedule is on the screen. We go live every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Please join us over there. Subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time right here.